Hello and welcome to Introduction to Networks Module 5, Binary Systems. So we're getting away from the from the slides. We're gonna actually do it together on um on a Microsoft Word so we can take it step by step. So what I want you to submit is right now everything that's written right here. Okay, so you write that as we go along. And I'm going to of course add uh, take examples. So don't just write it and stop the video because I'm going to have written examples as we move along. All right, so um, let's start by explaining what a bit is. A bit is either a one or a zero. A high voltage is considered to be a one, and a low voltage is considered to be a zero when they are traveling on a copper wire. A group of eight bits is called a byte. IPv4 address is a 32-bit address, and it's typically written in decimal format of four numbers, four bytes, separated by periods, such as 192.168.10.3. So each one of those numbers, 192, is eight bits. So eight times four, you got 32 bits. Each number is then converted to an eight-bit number, so in a total of 32 bits. It's easier to write and remember four bytes, four numbers in decimal format, than you know having to remember 32 bits. It's much easier, you know, 32 bits is what what digital devices use, so it's much easier for them to use. Now, on the other hand, MAC addresses is 48 bits. The IPv6 address is 128 bits. So writing these in decimal format can be a hassle, and therefore we write them in um, hexadecimal format, which actually takes the address and makes it more concise. And we'll see on how, so therefore, um, it doesn't matter if you write it in decimal format or you're writing in hexadecimal format, the device is gonna take these addresses and then ultimately convert them into ones and zeros because that's what it understands and that's what it works for. So therefore we have to know how these devices are 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 you you know how these devices are converting these numbers into ones and zeros so therefore we actually know what the devices are working with all right so let's start by converting binary to decimal so what i want you to do all you have to do i know we've done this there's exercises that we've been doing this from day one you just have to remember the top addresses and these numbers on the top 128 64 32 16 8 4 2 1 so for example if somebody told you I want you to tell me what this one one zero 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 one one one. What is this number in format? So all you have to do is just take this number and put these right under these numbers. One one zero 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 and one one one. So what is that equal in decimal format? So all you have to do is wherever you see a one. Just add the number on the top. So you have 128 plus 64 is 192. 192 plus 4 is 196. 196 plus 2 is 198. Plus 1, you have 199, right? So 192 plus 7 is 199. All right, if you want to do another example. So let's say you want to convert 0. Oops, I'm sorry right here let's say i want to convert zero one one zero 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 one one so again you put zero one one zero zero one one oops is it uh no one more zero and then one one what is that equal to well i got 64 plus 32 that's 96 96 plus 211 right 96 plus 3, that's 99, right? What happens if you have all ones, eight ones? Well, that means you put 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And if you add all the numbers on the top, that's going to give you 255. So 255 is eight ones, right? What happens if you have all zeros, eight zeros? Zero, 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 zero. Of course, there's nothing to add, so the answer is zero. So in an IPv4 address, you will never ever see a number greater than 255 in you know these bytes in here, and nothing less than zero. If you ever see that, 
it's wrong. All right, how do we go the other way around? So let's go backwards. What happens if somebody wants me to convert 204? So you're going to ask yourself, all right, do I have 128? Yes. Do I have 64? Yes. So two of them, 192. So two, 204 minus 192 gives me how much? Um, 12, right? So 12 is, there's no 32, there's no 16. 8 and 4 is 12. So that will give me 204. You see how it is? You just got to ask yourself, what are the numbers on the top when I add them gives me 204, you know? 204. So if I gave you uh, something like uh, 40, 46, all right? So I know there's no 128, there's no 32, so there's 32. So how much is left? Uh, 46 minus 32, we're left with 14. So it cannot be 16. 14 is 8. And 14 is 8 plus what? 8 plus 4. Another one right here, right? And another one right here. And that will give me 46. Easy enough? All right, so why don't you try the following? Tell me what 1110011 is. Let me just make sure that this is an 8-bit number. Um, yes, it is. So convert this number to decimal. And give me the number 237. What is that in? Give me this number in decimal and give me the, uh, this number in binary. All right, so now let's convert into, let's go, let me um, bring this down so we can actually see this a little bit better. Um, for hexadecimal format, all you have to do is remember this chart. Binary to hex, hex to binary. Very easy. So, for example, if I wanted to um, convert, let's say, uh, 1100, let's say, uh, I don't know, 1001. What is that in hexadecimal? All you have to do is just separate them into each four and then look up the chart. 1100 is a C. So this is C, and 1001 is a 9. So this is equal to 0, 9, and hex. Easy enough. How about 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0. All right, so I like to separate them. So from the chart, this looks like a 5A. Five 5A, five right? Oops. Five and the letter A. Easy. How about going the other way around? How about if I say I give you the hexadecimal number uh, 3F? Well, if you look at the chart, 3 in hex is 0, 1, 1. I'm sorry. 0, 0, um, 0, 0, 1, 1. And F is for ones. And well, how about 45 in hex, not in binary? So if this is in hex, I'll just put it in parentheses H. So this is equal to zero, oops, zero, one, zero, zero. And a five is zero, one, <clears throat> zero, one, right? Now, if 45, was in decimal, what would that be in binary? Well, it's 32, right? Plus 32 plus how much is 45? So 32, well, let's see here, one second, just give me one second. 32, the 16 is no good, right? How about 32 plus 8? 32 plus 8 is 40, so that's good. So I need a 5, 101. Right, so these are two different numbers. You have to make sure you identify 
that this is a hexadecimal or this is a decimal. Otherwise, the device won't be, will be able to tell the difference. So when you're typing a number, it doesn't have any letters. And if it's a hex, so if this is a part of a MAC address, this is what the PC will see. If this is part of an IP address, this is what the PC will convert it to. All right? That's really it. So here we go. Convert the following for me. Um, convert the uh, MAC address. Let's say convert EA. I'm sorry. EA to binary and convert the number one 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 zero zero one one to X. All right, that's it. When you're all done, just save this and submit it. And I'll see you on the next module.